Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, uh, Donald Trump is fighting for his political life <laughs> and uh, attempting to get to 1237 uh, delegates. He um, is uh, well ahead in New York. But there are two key states after New York that are going to make or break Donald Trump. And that is California. But before he gets to California is Pennsylvania. And Donald Trump showing an enormous amount of effort for a guy who generally does one campaign stop every three or four days. <laughs> made it to Pennsylvania. And <clears throat> with notes in hand, tried to rally the troops there. Here he is in Pittsburgh. I went to school in this state, right? We know that, right? So I know, I know a lot about Pennsylvania, and it's great. Pause it. Pause it. <laughs> Did you hear what he said? He knows a lot about Pennsylvania, and it's great. Could you uh, take it back to the beginning? That's an important thing to note after the next thing that happens. Now, to be fair, he probably went to college in Pennsylvania at, uh, I think it was UPenn, um, a long time ago. <laughs> Maybe he hasn't checked back into the state, uh, with the state in the past decade or two, but continue. I went to school in this state, right? We know that, right? So, I know. I know a lot about Pennsylvania, and it's great. Yeah. How's Joe Paterno? We gonna bring that back? <laughs> right? <laughs> how about how about that whole how about that whole deal? <laughs> and we do love Penn State. Do we love Penn State? I mean, in all fairness, we love Penn State, but we love Pittsburgh, right? Well, congratulations to Donald for uh, actually uh, saying the name of the city he was in and also mentioning other things in Pennsylvania. Um, as many of you probably know, Joe Paterno uh, is dead. So if uh, Donald was talking about bringing that back, that's going to be extremely difficult. But... Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he wasn't talking about bringing the actual human form of Joe Paterno back. Maybe he was talking about the, um, the controversy that basically capped Joe Paterno's life, which was that he more or less turned the other eye, if not actively protected, a child molester on his staff. That would also be an odd thing for the folks of Pennsylvania to be want to be brought back. So uh, it's tough to know. But uh, also, in fairness to Trump, he was holding a piece of paper, uh, like as if he had campaign notes. And it's quite possible it said, whatever you do, don't bring back the specter of Joe Paterno. And he just saw <laughs> the words, Joe Paterno, and bring back. Oh, wait, no, not bring back. Don't mention Joe Paterno. How about Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh's here, isn't it? This Ooh. is Pittsburgh. We so can make mistakes, but that one was a beauty. That was a beauty. <laughs> that was a beauty. We're in Ohio. Where is Jared? Is Jared here, the subway guy? Where is he? He's great. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Lost all that way with Subway. He did a fantastic job. That's right. Subway's a great company. <laughs> I'm on my first foreign trip. I'm in London. Where's Jimmy Savile? <laughs> Where is that guy? Did an amazing job. Helped the kids. Yeah, no, no. Look, I mean, he was out there with the kids' programs and the bing bing and the bog bog. I mean, <laughs> did, did a great job. I'm in Thailand. I think I'm going to go to the Gary Glitter concert. <laughs> Gary How Glitter, about that great Roman guy. Where, where did Gary Glitter go? Really fantastic. What a mise en scene that guy has. I always said Bill Cosby I, said, I he's I a great comedian, think... but he puts me to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic guy. Uh, I, I actually think, like, that could lose him, you know, some points in Pennsylvania. I, I, you know, that's like one of those, like, and you could hear the crowd was completely confused by the whole thing. Like, they're so, just so used to, like, just cheering on whatever he says. And it's just like, 
Jupiter, what? So what? amazing to be back in New York. Son of Sam. <laughs> Did a fantastic job. Uh, First official trip to the Vatican. Where did all those priests go? I mean, oh, but doing incredible jobs. But it's not as sort of straightforward about it because, like, people have such mixed feelings about Joe Paterno that I imagine these are conflicts. You know, I didn't grow up like Joe Paterno, some type of god. But it's got to be a little bit difficult, you know. I think when, like, oh my God, my God was not just not only was he not a deity, he was he uh, uh, not necessarily a great person. <laughs> I remember as far when, as these what what are you those wait, things were Kelly's going to defend Joe Paterno. No, I'm not defending Joe Paterno. Um, you just say he was like, universally rejected and people didn't have ambiguity. No, oh. the opposite. People still liked him. Yes, that's how. That yeah. at least that's m- my experience. That's with how people just feel. in your family. They didn't care about. Well, that. my family isn't a Penn State family, but in Pittsburgh, the tons of people are, and I. Th- uh, I don't think they thought it was a fair assessment of, of, the, Joe Paterno. of the man's life. Well, how yeah. about bringing that back? Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you uh. something. Covering up for child molesters is very difficult. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you've ever run a company, but I mean, whoa, bing, bing, bong, bong. You have a couple of there. You have a couple of pedophiles. You can shuffle some of the papers. But boy, I mean, Sandusky you know, was active. Do you know how I mean, many it's things, true. Do you know how many things this sort of like got... Um, just sort of like with 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 Trump at this point have now gone down the wormhole. Like, like at one point he was just going like, "I go to to, to Japan." And they're like, "We gonna take your money." <laughs> like, like, do you remember all that? Like, as you were doing that, I was just like, "I can't believe." No, that was the first thing we ever did. Actually, the first thing we ever did was the joke that that somehow in some secret bunker somewhere, like the sea movie scenario, there's like a Chinese central bank meeting. There's like, we going to tell Obama no. But that's and he then, did the voice. <gasps> oh, no. That's it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was what Trump did. And he, oh, he said, or he also said that when you negotiate with the Japanese, they walk in and they say, we make deal. <laughs> Which is also like this incredible global self-projection because I don't think that there is literally <laughs> anybody else on the planet that talks like that. Mm. But in his world, Japanese businessmen. Oh, if there's a Japanese Trump, that Donald Trump knows him. <laughs> I did a fantastic job. We make deal. It's true. We make deal. It's. Hi, I'm Sam Cedar, and this is an Ann Coulter doll. You should not be immigrating here. Yeah. Stay in your country and hate us. For smart progressive talk and a little bit of this and even a little bit of that. Mission accomplished. Subscribe to our podcast, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook to get some of our best video clips.